Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We are on Facebook in a buy trade group. And I'm just going to tell you what I think of some of these listings. I don't know what I'm going to find. This is actually a thing. Uh, this is for a, a client who wanted me to find him an army. And so I'm just doing, I'm just doing this for whoever. And let's take a look. Okay, first up, we've got Richard Coleman, and he wants to buy an army. And he's very specific about what he wants. He wants more than 5,000 points. All right, not what we needed. This guy, another one, looking to buy terrain. I don't play anymore. Selling my DOK list, that's Daughters of Cain. Well, we're looking for 40K today. Ah, here you go. Look at this guy, his feet. This guy's kind of famous on this group because his feet are in the picture. So that's my pro tip to sellers. Don't, I mean, at least cut your toenails. That's what I'm saying. All right. Kyle Evans, want to sell Necron Army. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. First off, uh, this is a uh, an Indomitus box. This looks like two Indomitus boxes. 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe more uh, just regular Necron Warriors, a bunch of Scarabs. Uh, we've got a couple of the Canoptic Reanimators. So here's the deal. I was trying to sell my mostly painted one that was two sets of uh, Indomitus Necrons plus something else. And boy, I just got laughed off of my own group. And that's okay, because obviously I didn't take into account everything. Uh, but he does have a couple of added things. I had a couple of added things, too. Um, and uh, the thing is, this is all, all assembled. So basically, a Necron half, 80 is a good price for that. So 160, it's got these, um, these other guys in it. Let's uh, zip on over to the Games Workshop site. Hold on a second. What is, okay, Doomsday Walkers. I have no idea the format these come in. Let's take a look. So when you're pricing things, you got to have the Games Workshop site up. Okay, come on. Be cooperative now. And so you can basically check the prices of things. All right, that's loading. All right. Uh, oh, this says only 30 warriors with flares. Oh, fifth, so yeah, there's 45 warriors. That's a, that's a very weird number to have. Okay, Doomsday. Let's see if I can find whatever. Yeah, I, I have no idea where those other walkers come from. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe that's 100 retail. Who knows? Uh, so let's see. Here. So this isn't too bad of a deal. It's all ready to paint. You just have to texture them. And it looks like there's only one picture. So what questions should you ask? You should ask if the bits come with it. Also, it says shipping to U.S. only. That's typical nowadays. Ask for shipping. Go in and just say, hey, is this still available? Can I have the bits? Um, and, uh, and then the other thing is to ask how much is shipping to Chicago, Illinois, or wherever you live. It's okay to ask, but definitely ask about shipping because when they're, all of them say buyer sells shipping, excuse me, buyer pays shipping. So I would not, um, I would definitely uh, ask ahead of time and not just buy them and then find out later it's going to be $50 to ship them. Okay, here we go. Uh, looking to do a split on Pariah Nexus. Okay, that's not what we need. Uh, looking for Space Marines, not what we need. Something about Phoenicium, not what we need. Uh, guy looking for things. Uh, what are they? Ogres? Ogors now. Yes. Okay, so uh, here's a guy looking to offload some projects I'm just never going to get to. Need to make room. And uh, he's got a lot of things and pretty much a giant list. So I like this because he's put retail 2000 or higher, price 1750 And quite frankly, to get all this stuff painted to obviously... Uh, a good standard and then and get a discount that's kind of like an auto buy right there 
definitely really great. And I, I don't think all of them are painted, but boy, this is a lot. Let's take, just take a look at this White Scars army. This looks really super nice. Oh yeah, see, here's a bunch of stuff. Just Yeah, this is, this is amazing. The thing you gotta look out for here is, is it recast? And it's, it's, it's okay to ask because recast stuff, once it's all painted up, well, you can't really tell the difference. And if you don't care, then don't, don't even ask. Uh, and I got to tell you, the paint work is, is pretty good on this. It's, it's clean. He's got like weathering on here and the weathering's done pretty well. Uh, looks like it's been uh, airbrushed and masked. Different areas are done out. This here where the arm, it, th this just looks like white, like white dry uh, airbrush or white prime or whatever. So that, that's not the best. Uh, but, you know, a little bit of washes and some TLC could definitely take that from already looking good, which it does, don't get me wrong, to being just awesome. And looks like some things are assembled. Uh, yeah, just a lot of random stuff here. And so quite frankly, on the stuff that's not painted that well and is kind of random, like this guy, has, these have Chaos Warrior heads for some reason. Um, really, if you're trying to sell these on the secondary market, don't come up with 10% off or 20% off retail. Do at least 30, uh, all the way down to 50. 50% off is is good for this stuff. Brand new, 30% off is good. You can generally find 20% off anywhere. 20% off is absolutely meaningless. Like, don't don't do it. Anyway, that's my assessment of that. Let's see if I can get. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm just I'm just trying to find a good starter army. Uh, Dark Elder are kind of like low tier. Here's a guy selling two Razorwing Jet Fighters, five Hellions, and one Raider. Probably about $150 worth of stuff for $135. Uh, I'm sorry to say it, but this guy does not need cash urgently. But if they sell, great. I wish him the best. But I would... Th this, isn't, this isn't a great deal. Like, secondhand stuff should be half... When I'm doing sales, it's like 60 to 80 percent off. It's crazy. Of course, that's just trades. Though. Okay, here you go. I have new out-of-print Tau boxes. Want Harlequins? Now, usually people who want to trade for things, they'll take cash too. You can just buy things with cash. Uh, yeah, message and work something out. <laughs> All right, Th that's a pass for me. I think you should. I think you should just say what you want for things and. Open the nego. The person that wants something should open the negotiations with something. Uh, okay, looking to play trade the daughters of Cain. Oh yeah, that's uh, Age of Sigmar. Uh, more fantasy type stuff. What do we got here? Wanted to buy two or three of the Cadian. Okay, he just wants like tank crew. Uh, here's more Necrons of Indomitus. Uh, somebody looking for it. Want to buy or want to trade Predator sponsons? Yeah, I get it. And those are out there. Uh, Geller Pox, half of whatever it is. Here we've got some metal vampire counts things. Uh, just to assess this, 110 for one, two, three, four, five models. That's not too bad, because especially if you like metal. So and, you, and you'll get that. You'll get collectors who want it. Here's more Age of Sigmar. Uh, looks like. Uh, Oh, Pariah Nexus Terrain. Uh, this guy wants to buy it. Guy, I do too. And by the way, guys, I am looking for orcs right now. Uh, I decided to build an orc army. I'm going to be picking away at it. And what I need is uh, boys, mega knobs, grots, trucks, and, uh, you know, and then just general. I I'm going to make a mixed army. All right, uh, here we go. Uh... So this person, I love this. He's given us actual prices, and quite frankly, this is this is this is retail, or very close to retail. Sixty for a storm speeder, Terminators fifty. That is retail or close to retail. Tail Outriders, yeah, this is not. This is not a great deal, unless I'm missing something, which I've been known to do before. Uh, let's see, Grey Knight painted Storm Talon. Oh, he would like to buy. LTB means like to buy. 
that's super, that's a super, that's a very specific ass. Okay, now we're talking, look at this. This is a Space Marines army, kind of old school. Serious buyers. Oh, okay, he sold some of it. And probably because guess what? He had good prices. Nine Terminators for 55, that's approach, that's a like 40% off. If you like Terminators. So yeah, a lot of this has been sold. A Rhino for 14 bucks. Yeah, this guy, he's out there to convert his stuff. 23 Marines, just about $2.20 each. That's not bad. Uh, I wonder what kind of Marines. This looks like this looks like uh, older stuff. Yeah, this is um, what's known as old Marines. Got some Centurions in there. Those are still uh, those are still hot. People like those Centurions. Okay, so cool. Good on that guy. Oh, here you go. Here's some here's some sexy hotness right here. 700 in models, fully painted. What does he want? He wants 380. Guys, run, don't walk. Is this sold? Not sold yet. Amazing. Man, it is a it's a buyer's market nowadays. Guys, this, see, these are the deals that you want. Very nice. Very nicely done. Oh, so clean. The, ba the And the base works pretty good, too. Everything done consistently. A little gooey on this one. And, uh, by the way, you're going to hear possibly kid sounds in the background. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... this. Are these scouts or the new eliminators? I think these are the new eliminators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to tell... And with a little TLC, this army could really... Have some, oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Uh, these are enforcers being used as something, maybe scouts, I don't know. This, this is a good deal, guys. Let's uh, let's just take a look at the details, though, just for kicks. Uh, prefer to sell as one lot, will split, send message with offer, buyer pays shipping. That's it, just send them, just say, hey, what's your shipping to, you know, wherever, to Portland, Maine. And it uh, looks like this guy, sometimes I go over to their profile to see, have they been around a while? Are they obviously some a war gamer? Like they're showing off other models they have. That tends to build sort of that, that, uh, that trust there. Yeah, that guy's off. This guy wants to move this. Is this still, and if I were in the market, I would, I would pick this up in a snap. Good. Good job. This is great. I can't get over how what a great deal that is. Uh, okay, well, this is about it. This guy wants to sell his old, old, old lizard men, which is awesome. For the right buyer, you will definitely get it. A lot of compliments on there. I think one for me, actually. Yeah, me saying, wow. I think I'm going to throw up. Nice. Okay, uh, Herald of Zinch. Don't need that. This is some old Marines and stuff. This is just like random stuff. Old models want to sell. He admits that it's not in great condition, um, you know, and but no prices on there. So, quite frankly, I think a if something's half, that's kind of like the you really shouldn't haggle about it. It's that's good for second second hand. Uh, shadows over Hammerhall. <gasps> oh, and some painted. Oh man. Yeah, when uh, when the money doth flow, Sean likes to pick up painted figures and then refurb them a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, well, I better finish this video before it gets way too long. Oh, this is cool. Flagburst Crawler, 40. That's not bad. Uh, all three at 85 bucks. That is a good deal. These need very little to be amazing. So, uh, is this Eve is this still available? Yeah, it looks he hasn't marked it as sold. This is this is a this is a good deal. It's assembled. Quite, the paintwork looks uh, decent on it, and I think uh, a little TLC in these guys could be brought up to up to speed. That's good stuff. Buy this. All right. Uh, what do we got? Thirty nine warriors. Oh yeah, here's more Indominus. A lot of people got excited about them, put them all together, started painting them, and then they just sort of conked out. Uh, I think, um, yeah, yeah, this is just a couple of Indominus boxes. What does he want? He wants 250 Yeah. 
yeah, that's uh, it's it's tough. Once you put in paint work, assembly work, people usually don't want to pay for that or don't want to pay very much. It's not it's not a great market for artists in this in this genre. Or maybe it is, and I'm just not, you know, I'm not.